In this video, we're gonna show you how to spike and prime IV bags and tubing. Now you'll do this both for primary infusions and secondary infusions or piggybacks. So just make sure that you have the right bag, whether it's a bag of fluid or a bag of medication, and that you have the appropriate tubing, whether it's primary tubing or secondary tubing. So first, of course, verify your order and use your five rights, and then remove the IV fluid bag from its package. Then you want to open the IV tubing package and clamp the tubing with the roller clamp. This should always be your first step so you don't forget. Just make sure that it's the only clamp that's clamped. Now you want to invert the IV fluid bag and remove the stopper from the port. Then remove the cover from the spike on the IV tube and insert the spike into the port on the bag. You may have to push and twist to get it all the way in and that's fine. Just make sure that you're going straight in so you don't puncture the bag. Now you can turn the bag right side up and you're going to hang it on your IV pole. Once you do that, you wanna squeeze the drip chamber so it's about half full at least. Now, holding the end of the tubing over a sink or a trash can, you can slowly unclamp the roller clamp until the fluid starts flowing. Now, I always say do this slowly. If you go too fast, you're gonna start getting air bubbles in the chamber, and you'll actually end up with air bubbles in the line itself. So once you have your tubing unclamped and you let the fluid run all the way through the line and you have no more air bubbles in the line, you can reclamp your tubing. Now, tiny, tiny, tiny air bubbles are fine, but if you have anything significant, make sure that you get that out. Now, once you have it completely primed, clamp your tubing and you are ready to attach the tubing to the patient's IV access. Just make sure that you scrub the hub for at least 30 seconds with alcohol and twist that lower lock into place. It's kind of a push and twist motion. It takes a little bit of practice. Then you're going to want to insert the tubing into your IV pump and program the pump appropriately based on whatever your orders are for that medication or that fluid. Just make sure that you unclamp the tubing right before you hit start. And of course, always follow your six rights and document the medication administration. Now that's it. Make sure you check out the video on hanging an IV piggyback or a secondary to learn how to hang that secondary infusion. Now go out and be your best selves today, guys. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you want to just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.